Imagine a world plunged in darkness, a world where light was a distant dream. Then, one invention changed the course of history forever. This is the story of a man, Nikola Tesla, and the invention that redefined the very fabric of energy. A machine, born from the genius mind of Tesla, not only generates power, but redefines it. A marvel of science that unites AC and DC electricity, revolutionizing industries and innovation. This invention didn't just power machines, it powered dreams, turning a dark world into a bright future. But what makes Tesla's generator so extraordinary? What secrets lie within its design that reshaped humanity's destiny? In the next few minutes, we'll unravel the brilliance of Tesla's vision and explore how this invention bridged the gap between two opposing forces, AC and DC power. Are you ready to discover the untold story of Tesla's generator? Are you ready to witness the legacy of an inventor who dared to challenge the impossible? Then let's dive into the electrifying journey of genius, innovation, and a legacy that changed our world forever. Behold the Dynamo electric generators, masterpieces of engineering designed by the brilliant Nikola Tesla. These machines don't just generate power, they merge the realms of AC and DC power generation like never before. What's truly remarkable about these generators? They can simultaneously drive a powerful two-phase AC motor and a DC appliance, an unprecedented feat in Tesla's time. Imagine this, a generator capable of producing both AC current for advanced motor systems and a steady DC current for traditional applications, all at once. It's nothing short of revolutionary. But how did Tesla come up with such a groundbreaking idea? And more importantly, how do these extraordinary generators actually work? Today, we'll uncover the fascinating journey of this genius inventor and unravel the inner workings of his creation. Tesla's AC induction motor, a marvel of its own, transformed electrical engineering forever. Yet, even this revolutionary motor wasn't without its challenges. Serious problems loomed on the horizon, threatening to limit its potential. Mr. Tesla, I run a massive industry, and I can't deny the brilliance of your AC induction motor. Its advantages over the DC motor are undeniable. Efficiency, reliability, and innovation. But there's a catch, Mr. Tesla. To make your motor work, I need a two-phase AC power supply. And here's the problem. My entire industry and every home we power runs on DC electricity. So tell me, Mr. Tesla, where do we get this elusive two-phase AC power supply? Do you expect me to overhaul everything we've built just for this motor? Mr. Tesla, I own a massive power plant producing DC power. My customers, industries, households, every single one of them depends on DC-powered appliances. Now tell me, why should I invest in an entirely new two-phase AC power plant just to operate one type of machine, your AC induction motor? Convince me, Tesla, why should I revolutionize my entire infrastructure for you? There was a growing demand for Nikola Tesla's induction motor, yet a critical obstacle stood in its way there was no two-phase AC power supply to bring it to life. At the time, all appliances relied solely on DC power, and power companies were unwilling to invest in building new plants just to support this revolutionary machine. But Tesla, undeterred by the challenge, began to ponder a solution. Then, a groundbreaking idea sparked in his brilliant mind. Hi, Mr. Owner. Hello, Mr. Tesla. Mr. Owner, can you show me your DC power generator? Sure, Mr. Tesla. Please follow me. Mr. Tesla, these are the DC power generators installed at my power station. Okay, Mr. Owner, let me see them. Mr. Owner, here you have three different types of DC power generators installed at your power station. Yes, Mr. Tesla. In this first type of generator, the armature coil takes the shape of a toroid, masterfully wound on thin, soft iron rings, each meticulously insulated from the other. Connections between the generator coil and the commutator segments are crafted using separate wires in a seamless, continuous flow. 
Now imagine the second type of generator. Here, separate armature coils are precisely placed on thin soft iron rings, also insulated from one another. One end of these armature coils is connected diametrically, while the other leads directly to the commutator segments. And finally, the third type of generator. Its armature is equipped with only three coils. One end of these coils forms a common joint, while the other connects to the commutator segment, completing this ingenious design. Indeed, Mr. Tesla, you've perfectly described the construction of my three distinct DC power generators. Now tell me, what groundbreaking idea do you have in mind for these machines? Mr. Owner, I have a revolutionary idea. Imagine transforming your existing generators into something extraordinary. With a few innovative modifications, I can make all three of your DC power generators capable of producing not just DC power, but also the much needed AC power. Think about it, Mr. Owner. No need for a costly new power plant or an entirely different setup. Your generators will power homes and industries with two-phase AC power for my induction motor. All you'll require are separate transmission cables. Now, Mr. Owner, the real question is, are you ready to revolutionize the way power is supplied? Are you ready to take this groundbreaking leap into the future? Okay, Mr. Tesla. Hi, Mr. Owner. Hello, Mr. Tesla. Mr. Owner, today is the day everything changes. I will transform all your DC power generators into something extraordinary, machines that redefine the limits of power generation. Of course, Mr. Tesla. After a few hours later. Mr. Tesla, have you completed your groundbreaking modifications or does Genius still need more time to work its magic? Yes, Mr. Owner, I have completed the modifications to your DC power generators. Now your generators are no longer limited. They can supply not just one, but two types of power, AC power and DC power. Mr. Tesla, unveil the secrets of your brilliance, explain the transformations you've made, and reveal how this revolutionary generator will change the world. Let me walk you through the transformations, Mr. Owner. In your first DC power generator, I meticulously connected two pairs of separate wires, each pair strategically placed with the two wires diametrically opposite to one another. Then, I carefully routed these four wires through the shaft itself, an intricate task, and connected them seamlessly to these four contact rings. For your second DC power generator, I adopted a similar approach. I connected two pairs of wires to the ends of the coil, which were linked to the commutator segments. To make this possible, I drilled precise holes in the shaft, allowing the wires to pass through and connect flawlessly to the contact rings, just as before. Now the third generator presented an entirely unique challenge. Here, I connected one wire to the common joint of the three armature coils, while the other three wires were attached to the ends of the coils linked to the commutator segments. Once again, I crafted precise openings in the shaft, met threading these four wires through it, and finally linking them to the contact rings, exactly as needed. Mr. Owner, the modifications are complete and your generators are now a testament to the genius of dual power, delivering AC and DC power seamlessly. This is the future and you hold it in your hands. Mr. Owner, let's unlock the true power of these modified generators. To witness their magic, we will connect a DC bulb and a two-phase AC motor to the first and second generators. And to the third generator, a DC bulb and a three-phase AC motor. But before we begin, there's something crucial you must understand. Listen carefully. The iron metal inside the rotor holds a small but persistent trace of magnetism, a ghost of energy waiting to awaken. This faint magnetic field may seem weak, but it is the spark that ignites a revolution. Now, imagine the armature begins to spin, driven by the force of these gears. Can you see it, Mr. Owner? The magnetic field of the rotor's iron is being sliced apart by the coils of the field magnet, an invisible battle between force and motion. And then, it happens. Electricity is born. A current surges through the coils of the field magnets, a flicker at first, almost imperceptible, but enough to bring the generator to life. Now something even more incredible takes place. This newborn magnetic field, charged by flowing current, begins cutting through the armature coils, and in that moment, a new current is induced. Electricity, doubled. 
power multiplied. This is how Nikola Tesla changed the world. Now let's dive into the heart of these generators, one by one. Mr. Owner, let me first unveil the process of how DC current is not just generated, but unleashed with precision and power. To simplify this complex phenomenon, I've initially shown only nine magnetic field lines. But here's the reality. Between these two powerful field magnets lies an infinite web of magnetic field lines, pulsing with energy. Let me amplify this visualization to make it crystal clear for you. Look closely, Mr. Owner. At the center, the density of these magnetic field lines reaches its peak, a magnetic epicenter, while at the edges, their strength dwindles to a whisper. Now, focus your attention here on the critical junctions where the brushes meet the commutator segments. Watch as the generator coils begin their clockwise rotation. As they turn, the magnetic field lines entwined with the armature coils begin to shift and change. And then the magic happens. According to Faraday's first law of electromagnetic induction, an electric current is born, induced directly into these coils. The direction of this newfound current? That's determined by the brilliance of Fleming's right-hand rule, or Lenz's law. In our demonstration, we'll use Fleming's right-hand rule. Observe closely. The current surges in this direction in the left coil and in that direction in the right coil. Now, as this induced current courses through the system, it splits, some energizing the field magnet while the rest powers the DC bulb. This seamless self-sustaining cycle is the hallmark of self-exciting generators, where the field magnet derives its strength directly from the generator itself. Look closely, here lies the heart of Tesla's ingenuity, a complete circuit that carries the lifeblood of electricity. But wait, there's more. The second generator springs into action, following a similar pathway, powering the world with precision. And the third generator? It's a marvel of engineering, working seamlessly, creating a symphony of energy. Now, let's delve deeper. According to Fleming's right-hand rule, the current flows in these coils like a masterful dance, directed here in the left coil, and there in the top coil. At this moment, only these two coils connect to the brushes through the commutator segments, weaving a web of electrifying possibilities. But the story doesn't end here. Mr. Owner, you've just seen how direct current flows and powers the world. Now, let me guide you through an even more fascinating journey, how alternating current, the lifeblood of modern technology, is born and transmitted. Focus on these coils where the extra wires connect. See it? At this exact position, currents awaken in the red wire coils, while the green wires remain dormant, untouched by the magnetic field. The direction of the current in these red wires is here, clear and vibrant. As the armature rotates, a transformation begins. The currents start flowing in the green wire coils, sparked by a magnetic field now linked with them. The direction of current flow in green wires is this. As the armature rotates, current flow in red wire coils decreases because the strength of the magnetic field linked with it decreases, and current flow in green wire coils increases because the strength of the magnetic field linked with it increases. At this position, induced current in red wire coils becomes zero because there is no magnetic field linked with it, and induced current in the green wire coils becomes maximum because it has maximum strength of magnetic field linked with it. Now, when the armature rotates further, then a current starts flowing again in the red wire coils, but in the opposite direction, and the current in the green wire coils starts decreasing. At this position, current flow in green wire coils is zero, and the current flow in red wire coils is maximum, but in the opposite direction. Now, when the armature again rotates, then the current in red wire coils starts decreasing, and the current in green wire coils starts increasing but this time in the opposite direction. Each modified generator, first, second, and third, works with the same breathtaking elegance, powering two-phase and three-phase AC motors that light up industries and revolutionize the world. Welcome to the electrifying legacy of Nikola Tesla.